After the Second World War in 1950, European graphic designers, especially Swiss designers associated with the Basel School of Design, continued to build on their ideas of early modernist designers like Mahali Naj and Chenault. This new school of designers called their approach neographique, new graphic design, and they published their ideas in the journal of the same name. The design of this journal showcased their approach. It tried to present its contents in a clear, objective, and neutral way as possible without any ornament or aesthetic flourishes. And using visual principles of hierarchy, spatial organization to make sense of its contents. Sans serif type was a big part of the clean aesthetic language of neographique, but sans serif typefaces around the time were pretty crude. They had come out of a period of wild typographic experimentation in the late 19th century and they hadn't developed much since then. The sans serif typeface favored by Swiss school designers, the one that got closest to the clean look that they were after, was Accidents Grotesque. This was a German typeface from the 1890s. Sans serif typefaces like Accidents are called Grotesque Sans Serifs. Grotesque Sans Serifs have letter shapes that are proportionally similar to modern serifs. This is Bodani at the top for reference. They have a large X height and a fairly unmodulated stroke. Early grotesques like accidents are often a little bit crude and uneven looking in their details. They're what designers like to call quirky. So by the end of the 50s, there was a market that was ripe for new cleaner sans serif typefaces that would work well with increasingly popular Swiss style of graphic design. And in 1957, that typeface arrived in the form of Helvetica. Helvetica is a neo-grotesque or rationalist sans serif. It's pretty similar to accident, but its forms are cleaner and more mechanical looking. In the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, the idea of Swiss school of graphic design became the guiding principles of corporate graphic design around the world, and Helvetica became the ultimate embodiment of this movement. Today, Helvetica dominates the corporate typographic landscape and it's literally everywhere around us. It's also become the default typeface for signage, and in this digital age, it's the default for many of the user interfaces that we spend so much of our time staring at. Because of its close connection to Swiss typographic style and modernist graphic design, Helvetica is also a rather divisive typeface. In 2007, a documentary filmed by the maker Gary Huswit set out to make a film about Helvetica, and he found himself at the center of a debate amongst many designers. On one hand, Helvetica has been embracing the modernist designers and their practice of expressing perfect neutrality and objectiveness within their graphic design. But on the other hand, it's been reviled by postmodern graphic designers for its brain-numbing overuse in everything. But whatever your opinion, Helvetica is the ultimate default typeface.